hopefully they go out the way they should. Stetson Bennett, who grew up a Georgia fan and continues to enjoy a Georgia season, and so too does Amir White, racing down the sideline, barging into plus territory, and down to the 43-yard line of the Buccaneers. Tight end coming down, turning, and then you can see the outside guys pulling. Hey, and Brock Bowers out front. Zamir White doesn't need a whole lot of help, but when he gets it, he can. On first and 10 from the 32, Bennett all kinds of time. Pats and fires, but picked off at the 20-yard line. A rare turnover picked off by Garrett Say, the senior linebacker out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, and a return of 11. Cook the lone back, they'll feed him. Cuts back inside and a gaping hole up the middle. Weaving his way past midfield. Now past the 40 and down to the 33-yard line before Matthew Williams stops him. Stetson Bennett. Began as the number three quarterback, has become the guy. As second, third, and fourth effort. That time by Kenny McIntosh. Don't want to lose sight of him. Now he's lined up out wide to the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Again, Davis. This time he's in for the touchdown. How about that? There's not much Jordan Davis hasn't done in his career at Georgia. Why not get the big man in the end zone? First to give him the big man a, a touchdown. Big man touchdown, you got to love it. Way to go in there and make it happen. Great moment for that young man. Great drive for Georgia. Now the defense goes to work. The job breaking one tackle, but nowhere to hide for Jack Chambers. On third and ten, they will blitz here. Chambers in trouble. Chambers goes down. Big time loss on the play. Tyndall was there on the sack. He had some help. They're going to go for it on fourth and five. McIntosh, the lone back. Bennett looks that way. A little toss to McIntosh to the 35, the 30. First down yardage down the sideline. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kenny McIntosh. The junior from Fort Lauderdale finds pay dirt, and Georgia leads it 13 to nothing. That's why they line up right here. Watch 0, watch 19, watch 81. All of them showing up. And that's what you do. When you have a big play by back, it's not because of his ability always. It's what you do. Jackson back to receive the punt. A high wobbler. Reeled in at the 39-yard line. Crosses toward the middle. Now we'll run up the alley along the numbers down to the 40-yard line. We've seen White. We've seen Cook. We've seen McIntosh. And it will be... Number three, Zamir White gets outside, turns on the Jets, and a touchdown for the junior out of North Carolina, his 10th rushing touchdown of the year. He's coming across, and watch 70 right here. And Zamir White said, I'm holding on to you, big man. When you hit him, I'm gone. There's no one there. I got to give Warren Erickson and Warren McClendon credit for what they were able to do there. Pulling, blocking, and then it's all Zamir White speed. Proof at 405 yards versus ECU earlier this season. Jackson, returnable from the 36, runs straight ahead, midfield, now cuts it far side, 45-40. Back to the middle, 35-25, and an ankle tackle might have saved six. Down to the 21-yard line, Ethan Ray saved a touchdown. That's the snapper. Bennett stays in with Cook to his right. Cook, little razzle-dazzle reverse. That's going to be Brock Bowers. He's got speed to the 15. Bowers breaks a tackle. He's got strength. Leapfrogs a defender at the 5. First and goal. Cook the lone back. Bennett going to throw, completes it. Breaking a tackle at the five, lunging for the end zone, and those jeans and that athleticism helps Brock Bowers pick up his seventh touchdown of the season. That leads the SEC for tight ends. Right here, Stetson Bennett gets it out quick, makes one guy miss, makes another miss, and I'm getting it for six. This is not what you are accustomed to seeing from a freshman. Play action, Bennett. Looking now, tosses underneath, completed the 15. Shake and bake at the 10. Down and escorted out of bounds at the three is James Cook. 
looking downfield, and he has a check down to James Cook. And then, hey, James, you helped me out on that last one. Let's get you in for six. He's really starting to play some good football here late in the year. Of his game, and then, okay, we're going to reward you. Offensive line, block well for me, James Cook. In. To allow seven offensive touchdowns in nearly ten and a half games now, that is historically good. Hey, this is the biggest play of the game for Charleston Southern. A great run by Jack Chambers, showing off some wheels, showing off some moves. Georgia sends four. Chambers, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Swallowed up again by a sea of red. Georgia on the move from the 39-yard line. It's Daniels again, sets up the screen. Caught in the flat by Bowers. Bowers puts it in high gear, tiptoes down the sideline and out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Third down and goal. Daniels works out of the shotgun. Wide open. That is Bowers who snuck through and found himself all alone for another score. Eight touchdowns now for the uber talented freshman Brock Bowers. Got him open, and then this one is just you're going to sneak him out. The defense is a rub route. He got it from his friend Darnell Washington. A rare third and long for this Georgia offense. Daniels from the pocket. Missiles one complete to the 23. That's Burton on the reception. And Burton will go down. His third grab of this first half. On first and goal. Right between the tackles. Untouched. Touchdown, Georgia. Edwards on the score. Offensive lineman, really. Look at those red jerseys lock up on white. Tight end coming through. John Fitzpatrick, one of the backup tight ends, 86. Second down toss. Jump ball and caught. Jackson Meeks makes the adjustment midair and reels it in. Beautiful play. Beck does have one touchdown pass on the season. Run up the middle, breaking tackles at the 10, the 5, diving toward the goal line and just shy will be Edwards. Terrific second and third effort for the sophomore out of Norman Park, Georgia. Tight set for Georgia. Fake it. Play action and zone. No, picked off. Buccaneers read it all the way. Cameron Smith gets the pick. They'd rather take this than just another SCS opponent. They won't like this, though. Batted ball, interception, picked off by Sori. And now it's turned over the other way to the Buccaneers racing toward the end zone for an apparent touchdown no flags on the field it would be a 63 yard score for garris schwarting the other way now ball is tipped it's the initial play turnover and then schwarting just takes the ball away oh my goodness he just takes it away that was xavian sorry who had the pick had the ball and then all of a sudden schwarting this comes right from behind and says, I'll take this. Thank you very much. And Swarting, like we said earlier, scored four touchdowns against the Citadel early in the year. He's a guy that wasn't, he was very lightly recruited, got an opportunity to make this ball club, and look at that, out of this, out of this stable. Just keep coming and coming. Beck with time, wide open at the 25, streaking down the sideline inside the 10. When you're not playing a whole lot at quarterback, there's always the possibility of leaving. He'll be happy about that play. Touchdown, Georgia. Back to the tight end, the sophomore out of Clearwater, Florida. Uh, right down, look at the. You want to see what it feels like to catch the rock, turn the rock, and score the rock? See. If you're running fourth or fifth string with Georgia, chances are by the time you get your opportunity, you're going to be one heck of a player. Looks like another double pass, a one hopper back to Chambers, <laughs> who gets in the fetal position and is crushed by two Georgia defenders. And while it is technically an in-state rivalry, it's been very one-sided of late, particularly under Kirby Smart. That's the best throw of the game by Chambers. And really Schwarting is. held yeah. on. Lopsided victory, 56 to seven. The final score. The first 11-0 start since 1982.
Kirby Smart, Autry Denson. We'll shake hands at midfield. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.